What's up? Oh, I'm tired. I'm frustrated. I'm exhausted. I'm excited. Okay, it sounds weird to say you're excited for a hurricane. I'm not excited for the hurricane. I'm excited because we're prepared. We went out yesterday and got groceries and bread and all that stuff. Today, I went back to the grocery store to get some baby food for Kayla, some drinkies for mommy and daddy, and daddy decided we getting up out of here. We are not waiting around to see if she is a hurricane three, a hurricane, a cat three, or a cat four or a cat five, because this area floods and we have two kids to think about and their safety is priority. So I'm about to go inside and get our stuff together and at the door. So I figured it was a good time to talk to y'all, tell y'all it's a hurricane coming and either get prepared or be shocked because this thing is not playing. So let's go. Okay, so I said that I wanted to show you guys what we were doing, what we had going on for the hurricane. And just to kind of show you guys, obviously I didn't make it to get bread in time. So we got um, hamburger buns and peanut butter and jelly, because you can eat that all day, every day. We got applesauce and fruit for Elijah because I didn't want him to just have to eat sandwiches. And then of course, Chef RD, SpaghettiOs, um, you want to get stuff that you could possibly eat out of the can if you had to. I mean, you can always warm it up somehow, but if you were out of electricity, you could get a spoon and feed yourself. And at the end of the day, that's what you want. You want to make sure that you could eat. These are daddy's potted meat. Comment below if you grew up on potted meat. I heard a lot of people are ready to eat their potted meat during this hurricane because that's what they grew up on. Of course, we got the snacks. Cheez-Its, goldfish, um, uh, crackers, because you can eat crackers and peanut butter as a snack too, and then Pringles. Um, when it comes to Kayla, I got these very veggie variety packs at Bye Bye Baby. And because one of these containers expires in November, they were on sale. So um, we got sweet potatoes, peas, brown rice, carrot, squash. And we'll probably take one of these with us because she only eats one a night. But I got two because I was excited. So when it comes down to actual hurricane gear, um, of course candles always work. I got these at Food Lion. We would have rather to have bigger candles, but this is just what they had and we were kind of last minute. So I want to get something and they smell really good. So they work. And then flashlights, of course. So we have one big flashlight and then we have these. These itty bitty babies came from Home Depot, but they are super bright. Look at that. We got two of these and um, they take AA batteries, which we had a lot of. So, we will have the light. We also got batteries for our big flashlight. And I love these. We have more of them, but we do not have any more AAA batteries. And I did not feel like going out searching for them. But these are great for the kids. If you have a toddler or a young kid and you want them to be able to have their own light to take around, this is great because then you don't have to worry about them losing the flashlight. You don't have to worry about them burning the house down with the candle. So I really like these. Elijah told me earlier this one is his. So one other thing that we got at Home Depot was one of their big five gallon jugs. And these are just good go-to jugs. You fill it with water. You can keep it in the bathroom for when you have to go to the bathroom or anything else. We have one container of water, <laughs> but we have another one in dad's car. Um, we are also taking games with us because we are a game family. And I figure by day one or two of just sitting around, we're gonna be pretty bored. So we're gonna take some games with us. This was given to us for Kayla and it is considered a baby briefcase. But what I've done is put our social security cards, our um, birth certificates in there so that if our house for some for some reason gets flooded out we have everything here 
if where we are gets flooded, we can always put a bag around this and keep everything um, dry. And that's what you want. You want to make sure that you have a way to keep your documents dry. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, 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 in here, in our freezer, look at this. We do not want these ribs to go bad, right? So I'm doing this thing where they say freeze water and then put a quarter on top. And so if the freezer um, <clears throat> defrosts, we'll know because the quarter would have been at the bottom. So we're gonna try that out. I'm also going to fill bags from our ice maker and stuff them in in between the food so that we can try to a keep bit it. of our hurricane prep we hope that you are really preparing this hurricane is not a joke i hope that you are taking it seriously you are not taking it lightly um, make sure your family is safe check on your aunts your uncles your grandma if you have dogs please make sure you take your puppies with you do not leave your fur babies we have seen horror stories of doggies being left I'm praying for all of you. We hope that you're praying for us. Be safe and we will keep you informed.